You know, if you're hunting Canada geese 30, 35 years ago, you probably remember these giant magnum, super magnum shell decoys that we used to use, whether they're Carrier G and H. And that was the deal for a long time. The limits were one bird a day, and a lot of times you're maybe putting out two to three dozen decoys in these big shells, these birds could see a long ways away. And then about early 90s or so, the silhouettes really came on strong. And they kind of originated out on the East Coast, black silhouettes, it spread into the upper Midwest, particularly Minnesota. And what's interesting is what is old is new. Some of the stuff comes full circle. We used the real geese silhouettes back in the day, the outlaw silhouettes. That worked for a long time, it was really effective, but a lot of times with waterfall hunting, with goose hunting in particular, you need to zig when everybody else is zag. What happened next? The Bigfoots came on the scene, the full body decoy craze. What happened next? Now everybody's got a decoy trailer with 100 to 300 full bodies. And what happens over time is that these spreads all start to look the same to the geese. And so wouldn't you know it, five years ago or so, we started seeing the silhouettes reemerge. So this has been one of the hottest trends last few years is just using these silhouettes. These are just the flock black, just for max contrast. Birds can see them from a long ways away. You know, a lot of times it seems like with hunting, if something works better or if something's in fad, usually it means spending more money or costing more money. These are about the cheapest decoys you can buy right now. And I tell you what, I think I've got six dozen shoved in this little bag. Isn't that incredible? Six dozen decoys in this little bag. It's amazing. You could go out in a car and kill a lot of geese over this spread right here. And so silhouettes have been killing geese for many, many years. I think hunters got away from it for quite a few years. Now it's back. And even if you're using shells or using full bodies, just mix in some silhouettes just to give that spread a little bit more realistic look. A lot of times in the real world, I'm using a lot of different brands of decoys. I'm using a lot of different sizes. I'm using different decoys, just to try to make it look like a flock of geese. And so don't be afraid to add some of this stuff into your existing spread. It's gonna add a lot of realism to your decoy spread this fall.